everyone! On this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to be talking about my favorite topic ever in coding, which is procedural coding using ICD-10 PCS, Procedural Coding System. In previous videos, I have done procedural coding with an example of the placement of a dual chamber pacemaker. We are going to be using that same exact example, and this time we'll be looking directly at the book as I walk you through how to use the code book and apply codes and navigate the tables. So as a quick rundown of a code in the PCS code book, it is seven characters long. The first character that is your section of the code book, is it medical and surgical? Is it imaging? Is it administration or extracorporeal therapies, etc.? The second character in your code will be your body system, heart and great vessels, upper joints, lower joints, female reproductive system, etc. Your third character is going to be your root operation. So that is the objective of the procedure. PCS coding emphasizes the objective of the procedure what was the surgeon trying to do or trying to accomplish. And I also have a video solely on root operations to describe all the different terms and the language that PCS uses. So I'll have a link in the description for that and the other PCS videos. Our fourth character, that is our body part. So within the body system, which body part was the surgeon or healthcare provider actually operating on? The fifth character, that is your approach. How did the surgeon or healthcare provider get to the body part being worked on? The sixth character is your device character. So if a device is involved, either mechanical, structural, or even native or synthetic tissue, that is what would be covered in the device character. And then our seventh character is our qualifier. Now this gives a little bit more information about other components of the procedure that are not captured elsewhere, or more information about the device. And when you go into the tables, you will see if a qualifier is given and what your options are. So that is our structure of our PCS code. And within the book, there are tables in each body system that talk about each root operation. So each table is a root operation and within there you will be able to look for your body part and fill in the rest of your code. So today we are going to be going through the example of the placement of a dual chamber pacemaker. I have the procedure as a guide for us but I won't be reading through it. I'll just give a quick summary and you can go to the previous video where I read it and dissected this op report so you can see how I found this information and how I created this summary that I will be discussing. So now it's time to actually go into the book and do some awesome PCS coding. So this is our ICD-10 PCS code book. This is what we will be using to go into the tables and find our codes that we need for the operation of placement of a dual chamber pacemaker. So these are my notes that I created in our previous video where we dissected a op report. And just to summarize what we found, we found that we need four codes. The first code, is the insertion of a pacemaker lead in the right ventricle. We also found that the approach for that is percutaneous. The second code is insertion of a pacemaker lead in the right atrium, and that is also a percutaneous approach. Our third code is insertion of a pacemaker generator in the subcutaneous tissue and fascia of the chest, and that approach is open. And then our fourth code is going to be in the imaging section of the code book, which will be fluoroscopic guidance, and we know that that is on the right side of the heart. So in this summary, and when we were going through the op report, we already were able to look for our root operation, our body part, our approach, and our device. So now that we have all that information, when we go into the book, we just have to find the right table and which characters go in which 
character placement of our codes. Now for learning purposes, I'm going to start with the first root operation or our first code, starting from the index and then navigating into the different chapters within the med medical and surgical section, just so we can see how that process looks like. And then when we jump over to the rest of our codes, we'll go straight to the tables. The first code that we're looking for is insertion of a pacemaker lead in the right ventricle. So what you can do is you can go into your index and look for insertion, insertion of device. And we want to look for the heart or more specifically the right ventricle. So we'll go with ventricle because we know that's a V. So we see ventricle and then below it in the subterms, they give the left or the right. And we know that this code is going to be on the right side of the heart. So it says right O2HK. So they gave us the first four characters of our code. So what we have to do is we have to then go into our medical surgical section, which is the very first section. It has a ton of different color coded chapters. And the first character is in alphabetical order or numerical order. So we wanna to go to O. So on the sides of our pages, they say O2V through O2Y. That's just the range of tables that are within this page. And we want to look for O2H. So I went a little bit far and I have found it. Okay, so we have O2H section O, medical surgical, body section two, heart and great vessels, operation H, insertion. So that information we already know is correct because in our summary, we have insertion and then the heart and great vessels. That is the body system that the heart is in. So we can already put the first couple of characters into our code. So we have O, U, H. Now to confirm that K is correct, we want to look down this column, the body part column, which is your fourth character placement. And we want to go down until we find the right ventricle. So ventricle right, which is a K, so that is correct. So we can put K in our fourth character placement. From there, we have to stay within this row to complete the rest of our code. So we go to our approach character placement, which is the fifth, and we already found that the approach was percutaneous, so we just wanna go down this list until we find percutaneous, which is a number three. So far we have O2HK3. Then we go to our device column, which is our sixth character placement. And we wanna look for something that talks about a pacemaker lead. We look down, we have cardiac lead pacemaker and cardiac lead defibrillator. We wanna go with cardiac lead pacemaker because defibrillator did not come up in our report. Pacemaker did. So cardiac lead pacemaker, which is a J. And then our qualifier column, or the seventh character placement, it says Z, no qualifier. So that means we don't put anything except a Z. There is no other information that needs to be captured in this portion of the operation. So now we have our first code done. And we can go on to our second, which is insertion of the right atrium. We know that we are in the same section, the same body system of the heart and great vessels. We know that we are still using insertion because this is just another lead. And we know that the body part will change because PCS defines each section of the heart as a different body character. So right atrium will have its own character, meaning its own code. So we can look for atrium right, which is a number six. O, two, H. Because this is the only body part or portion of this procedure that changed. And then the rest of our code will be the same because they still had the same approach of percutaneous. So that portion stays the same. The device stayed the same because we're still talking about a cardiac lead pacemaker, put a J, and then there's no qualifier. So we put a Z. So now those are the two components for the lead section of our procedure. So this one is done.
Now we have to go to the insertion of the pacemaker generator, which is in the subcutaneous tissue and fascia chapter of the medical and surgical section. So you can either go back into the index or you can go right to subcutaneous tissue and fascia tables and then look for your root operation. So we will be doing that. So I remember since I'm a visual learner that subcutaneous tissue and fascia is in a dark green color and it is a little bit more than halfway through the medical and surgical section and we need to look for the table insertion insertion we found it it's this big big table over here we already can look for the first three characters in our code at the very top it gives us our section which is an o medical surgical our body system for subcutaneous tissue and fascia and that is a j and then our operation or root operation for insertion, that's an H. So we'll look down our body part column for our fourth character placement and we'll look for chest, subcutaneous tissue and fascia chest. It's not in the first row, so we go to our second row and it is in the second row. So it says subcutaneous tissue and fascia chest and that is a number six and put six in our fourth character placement. And then we have to stay within this row right here to fill out the rest of our code. So we look under our fifth character placement, the approach, and it gives us open or percutaneous. And I already decided on open, so that is an O. And then in our device column or our sixth character placement, they have a lot of choices. And we need to look for a pacemaker generator. So there's a pacemaker single chamber, but in the beginning of our op report, it said dual chamber pacemaker. Ah, and there it is, pacemaker dual chamber. That is what we need, which is a number six. And then in our qualifier column or our seventh character placement, it says Z, no qualifier. So we get to put a Z. Now, our third code is done. All we have left is our fluoroscopic guidance. Now fluoroscopic guidance, you can either go back into the index and look under fluoroscopy and then find the heart as the body part, or you can go right to the imaging section. So the imaging section comes after the medical and surgical, so it's near the back of the book. All right, so the imaging section it gives us a little bit more information about this section. Some of the character placements signify different information. So they have in the section, that's imaging, the body system, the root operation or the root type is going to be what type of imaging guidance, our body part, and then our contrast. Now with the contrast, some of the imaging uses contrast. Go online, Google, understand what contrast is. And then the last two characters are qualifiers. So it's slightly different from the medical surgical section. So we want to look for our second character placement, which is the body system. We want to go to heart. And then they start out with central nervous, and then we get to heart. So we are now in the correct portion of the imaging section. And then the type, we need to look for fluoroscopy. So this one is not what we need. Go to the next page. Ah, fluoroscopy, it's way up there. So under fluoroscopy, we have our section imaging, which is a B. So I'll put a B. Body system or heart, that's a two because the fluoroscopic guidance was only used to get those leads to the heart. They did not use it for putting in the generator, only for placing the leads to and on the heart. And then our type, which is fluoroscopy, which is a one. And then we go down to our body part column, which is our fourth character placement. And we want to look for the heart on the right side because they do not go into detail on ventricle, atrium, etc. It's just the laterality of the heart. So we want to look for right, not in our first row, not in our second row, not our third row, heart, right. So that is what we need. And that's a number four. Now staying in this row, we'll go to our fifth character placement or our contrast. Now in my example, they told us to not code for fluoroscopic guidance because they did not provide that information. If this would come up where you are in the field and you're coding and there's missing information, you would query the provider 
So in this case, we would call them, ask them, you forgot to put what contrast you used in your op report. What did you use? And they will tell you, oh, we used Omnipake 250. And we would then be able to look and find if that is high or low osmolar. And Omnipake 250 is low osmolar, which is a one. And then we go to our sixth character placement or a qualifier. Down our qualifier column, go to our row that we need, and it says Z none, and same thing for the seventh qualifier character placement as well. So the last two characters are Z. And then our imaging portion is done. So these are our codes that we would put in our form for reimbursement. I hope is the correct sequencing. I am just not sure if the pacemaker generator code should come first and then the leads, but either way, fluoroscopic guidance will come last because that was just assisting in the procedure. And the sequencing is very important by putting the primary procedure first. So for this one, I just put the leads first because that was the component, component that was installed or came first. That is how we navigate the tables and the books. So that is how we use the PCS code book. It is so much fun when you start to learn which colors each section is because then it's very easy to flip through because you already know the order of the colors or where within the book you'll find it. And finding the tables is super easy because each table is a different root operation. And from there, each column gives you the different components of the procedure and you just fill it in. And it's awesome. So this is why I love PCS. It is great for visual and kinesthetic learners. If you learn by seeing and then also by doing with your hands, this is gonna be a breeze and you're gonna love it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will have more videos solely on this type of procedural coding using this setup so you can see the book and see how we flip through. And then you'll get more acquainted with the different types of body systems and then also the different sections outside of the medical surgical section. It's awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Follow all the links that are in the descriptions that go to the other root operation videos, the other PCS coding procedure videos, all of that. You're going to love it, and I can't wait to make more. Bye!